Okay, so here is another video of Microsoft just being Microsoft. Ridiculous and in a bug that I would say has been around forever. And they still haven't even lifted a finger to fix it. Remove Bluetooth devices. How hard could that seriously be right now? Let me just uh, see if this connects. Yep, this one is now connected. And this one is now connected. But let's see, I want to remove this one and good luck with that it will just stay there until it says remove failed and you might say well you didn't disconnect it first let's say disconnected remove failed it's disconnected right now click remove and let's see maybe i don't know let's see if it removes it and it just keeps saying that removing device forever nope remove fail let's see if we can remove it from here let's uh uninstall boom okay and time to black the transcript itself uninstall okay and remove the device here now it should be really easy right well not with microsoft let's see and remove failed again so let me just search for hardware changes yep dime to black is back in place and the same with crusher evo all the bluetooth devices connected good luck whatever <laughs> now we're gonna install a quick thingy ride here it's this thing we're gonna go the bt pair because by default i don't think you have it or i do and we go to bt pair and we'll see if we can uh download the one we need right now it's a bluetooth command line tool setup package yep it's that three megabytes let's uh, download it let's open it let's see what it does next 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 like always we have to check one thing towards the end yep add bluetooth command line tools yes we need that and you'll see that in a moment why okay so we need to uninstall the bluetooth with comma command line we don't need to read me line and now with a shell really quick or command prompt is the same okay let me do a bt pair dash u okay so let's see if anything uh changed here okay let's go to uh devices again and bluetooth and they're gone perfect just like that so we could probably uh edit the command here and do it to you and let's see if that actually does well now we removed all the devices so there shouldn't really be much left okay boom yep now it worked so go to settings okay yeah nothing is connected at this point and let me see if i can add the uh crusher evo really quick let me do that bluetooth on and off okay power on let me put them on pair mode okay and now let's uh go add the bluetooth oh yeah now all the device oh look at that now i have a list of all the devices okay let me add this so uh as we saw here let me just add it again just to make sure it's not a fluke okay <laughs> let me put the device on pair mode again okay now it's on pairing and let's add it really quick okay and uh, let's just click it and as you see it is added again yep that's really easy and beautiful and if we want to remove it again disconnect remove device and boom that's how it's supposed to work microsoft seriously you you could not do this much code seriously and this batch file works sometimes i just wrote it kind of a <laughs> one of those side things that i just wanted to do it myself but i highly suggest with the other way that we just did installing this uh little thingy right here that i gave you this tools right here after you install it you just go to either you go with uh cmd or whatever you want to go in and you can just go put that Bluetooth thingy right here. Let me just put the Bluetooth pair. You could do sh uh, CMD or shell. I just, I just like CMD. I'm so used. Right click, run as administrator. Click yes. So it will reset all the Bluetooth devices. That's a beauty of it. And you just uh, type in BT pair space dash U. And it will uninstall all the devices and well we don't have any device left right now we'll take a minute or two for example to finish doing what it does 
And as you saw, it gives that new line really quick and you are ready to go. You can add now all the devices and remove them and all that. And whenever Windows decides to make it to make sure you get stuck again, <laughs> you just use that command line again. That's all. Seriously, it's that easy. And uh, yes, I will leave a link on description to this beautiful piece of software right here or command and I will leave the uh, command prompt that I just uh, put there, the CMD, the uh, BT pair space dash U on the description below. And uh, yeah, this one works. As you saw, I tried it several times. It actually works every single time. So now enjoy your Bluetooth devices frustration free, even though I know I've done a video before on this exact topic. But we did not do it with a whole uh, command line, but now it should work. And uh, I hope you like this video. I hope you found it helpful. And uh, please share it with anybody, anybody that you think might need to know about it. And we will see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye.